Hello everyone, Linda Israel here. Hey, I want to thank you so much for watching my videos. If you would, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And of course, leave a comment after you watch this video of what you thought about what I shared today. Today I'm sharing the Dancing Dragonflies subscription box and on the add-on items that we have. So the subscription box is every three months. It launches on April the 26th of 2021 and it will ship on May the 15th of 2021. I have a limited amount of these so you want to get in and get it ordered early before I run out because once they're gone they're gone. I will also have a digital version available but you don't get all the goodies that I'm about to show you. So let's get started. In the kit you're going to get two stencil sheets that has, this one's got a hanging chab, they are eight and a half by 11 and they have three stencil designs that I hand draw. I hand draw these designs and then we have a laser and I laser cut these stencils myself and I offer more stencils in my shop. In fact, I may show you some other stencils at the end if I remember. So this is one pattern that is in the kit. Here is the other pattern. It's got a little hanging chad. I didn't get cleaned off. There we go. They are mylar type material. They are washable and reusable and you get these two sheets. Also included in the kit is all kinds of little ephemera pieces. So we've got some little tickets. These are little envelopes that are sealed shut. That's part of the junk, okay? This was something that I picked up that they were damp and so they kind of stick, but I've shown tutorials on how you can embellish these and use them in your journals. You get a little delivery ticket type thing. You get some artist trading card size uh, card stock. This is some four by four inch watercolor type paper, some ivory paper, some more in craft. You get these file folders. In fact, I decided to give you two of each style. So they have a left, middle, and right tab. It may be hard to see because I had them stacked on top of each other. So you get those in the subscription box. I've had an abundance of this purple paper, and since there was some purple in this kit, I'm going ahead and giving you four pieces of this textured paper just because I thought it was fun to be able to use it. I've got a couple of larger pieces of some ivory cardstock that you could use for making journal cards or pockets. And even though this may not match the color scheme of the kit, I just thought it was kind of fun to have this popcorn bag that maybe you can decorate. You may put it in a dirt journal altogether. I found these beautiful napkins and I thought these would be great if you wanted to use them to embellish pages, to make elements out of, whatever you want to do. I'm going to go ahead and unfold it so you can see how big it is. And I believe it's uh, maybe 13 by 13. I know it's at least 12 by 12 and it's got a repeating pattern on there. So you'll be able to use all of that in your journal making. Now there's going to be some random pieces here. So this is just some cardstock pieces that were printed. They originally came from Canvas Corp Brands. They allowed me to pick up and pick through a bunch of their discarded items. And so you'll get a random six by six ish piece of cardstock that's printed. And this is a damask tissue paper. So it is 12 by 12 inside and you'll get one of those in your kit. I've tried to pick a variety of things that I felt would be interesting that you could then add your own touch to. This is a couple of pages out of an English to French dictionary. And I just tore some pages. So you'll get a couple of those. This is a couple of pages out of a Spanish Bible that I thought would be kind of fun. So they're kind of a ivory color. Then I've got some more dictionary type pages in here. Here's another Bible page in here. This is a smaller dictionary page. They'll all be different because it'll be another random page out of the dictionary. Some more bigger dictionary pages. Look at a couple of those as well. And then I try to make sure that at least every kit gets a piece of sheet music of some kind. You could coffee dye this if you don't like the color. You could spray it with tattered angels, all that kind of stuff. You'll get this piece of eight by eight cardstock that's printed that looks like ledger paper. Then you're going to get all of these colors 
of text weight paper. So we've got a pretty purple, we've got a blue, a pale pink, and a bright pink. You'll also get this piece of craft paper. It's a thinner paper, but I thought it was kind of fun. You'll also get a full sheet of 100 pound cardstock in white. And I think this may be 60 or 80 pound cardstock in ivory. Then you're going to get the printed kit. So as part of the printed kit, this will be the cardstock portion will be on 100 pound cardstock. It will be laser printed. Mine I've printed at home on my inkjet printer. And let me tell you, the video and the photos do not do this justice. It is a beautiful, vibrant kit. You're going to love it. So this is the outside cover that you will then fold in half to make your cover. That's the inside pattern. I just love this pattern, how it's turned out. Here is one of four two-sided journal pages. So there's one page. That's the other side. And I may not have them in the exact order of the way they're going to print, but you're going to get all these images. There's another one. Oh, and you probably couldn't see it in this one, but see this pattern in the background? That's the stencil pattern that I made, and Norella brought it in and added the texture to it. I love that she does that. Here's another page. And this is another one of my stencil patterns in the background. I love this all over page with the dragonflies. Now you have the option, here's another stencil with the little dragonflies, to purchase the subscription box as a physical kit, or you can get the virtual subscription where you get all the digital files and have the digital portion. You can also purchase everything that I make that's dancing dragonflies if you like. All right, so this is one of the Fussy Cut Elements pages, and I love all these little bits that she's put in here, so bright and colorful. She's even included some mini file folders. So there's one. This one's a little bit bigger. And I show in a different tutorial of using one of these size of file folders to make a little mini journal to put inside the big journal. And I love the journal cards. And then, of course, the words. You get four of these sheets of different fussy cut elements. More little journal cards. Ticket, even little flags that you can use. And then here is, got to get turned around. This one's a corner pocket. Here's another little corner tuck pot spot. And then some dragonflies and flowers. Light and dainty. And then you've got transformation. A thorough or dramatic change in form or appearance. And did you know that dragonflies, they start out as nymphs and they live in the water? I think it's like two years that they live in the water. And it's not until a summertime that they come out of the water and they transform into a dragonfly and they only live for a few months. Their job is to eat lots of bugs and then they mate and they lay eggs and then they die. But they're beautiful, majestic creatures. All right, so now here's all the goodies that come in the kit as well. So you get one bottle of Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist. I chose this kind of turquoise, I call it almost Tiffany blue, that I thought would just be really pretty used with the kit as well as all the colors that Norella has. And it's a light enough color that you could still write over the top of it. It will have a little bit of a gold shimmer to it. It's kind of hard to see in the bottle, but it, it kind of has this veining of gold that'll pop up depending on how heavy you make the application. You'll get a set of coupon or tickets. This is a double row. You can tear these apart, use them as they are. You're going to get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different colors of fibers. They're at least one yard each. Some of them may be more. You even got some sequin trim here. I just chose a variety of different colors that I felt complimented. You know, let's get one of the kit pages. The kit. I, I hope you like what I chose. You'll get this beautiful little sequin flower trim. I think it's half a yard. I didn't have enough to give everybody a full yard, but I thought, you know, a little is better than none. <laughs> You'll get a couple of paper doilies. I have some, what is this, A4, A2, A2 size envelopes, and you'll get a yard of this transparent ribbon. You'll also get 15 
different chipboard elements. I decided that whenever the dragonflies were cut out, I would make a little box so that you have the, what is it, the negative and the positive. And you could use these separately in your journal. You could paint them with acrylic paint. You can leave them as they are. You can use stress oxide on the top of them. You can spray them with tattered angels. Uh, you just kind of have a choice. So you'll get 15 different little elements. This is one of the dragonflies here. I chose some little flowers that I thought would be kind of interesting to use. This is like a little vining flower. I put in some cattails because I thought, you know, dragonflies like to perch on high spots because they have such awesome vision that they like to look where they are, can hunt creature, creatures, different types of bugs and insects. There's a couple of different sizes of the dragonflies, and this is my favorite, and this is a full piece. I think it's about four inches, not quite four inches. Let's get my... Yeah, it's right at four inches round, and it's just absolutely gorgeous. All right, so let's slide this all over for a moment. And then you're going to get a little baggie full of goodies. So let's dump this out. I've got this tray, because that way it would stay all contained, and I wouldn't have to worry about it all floating away. So you'll get some of these little paper flowers. I've used them before in kits, and I have a little bit more left, so I thought I would use them today. And it may be silly, but it's a really thin amount of washi tape. I found a vendor that I could get this from. I think they're kind of cast offs where they cut the roll at the ends so that they have a uniform width all the way down. And I just thought, well, this might be interesting for y'all to play with so you can peel this off and use it. And then I found these beautiful stickers online and I thought, well, these would be great. Now I will warn you or tell you that you'll need a straight pin to find the separate the edges. So get your straight pin out. Don't get frustrated and just poke at it. You may need to put your bifocals on. <laughs> you'll get some charms as well. So like this one, they'll be random. So they won't all be the same, but there's some dragonfly charms. So here's a couple of dragonfly charms and then I found this little bling it's like a little rhinestone and what else do we have in here we have the round paper clips we have some regular coated paper clips and then we have different colors of these bulb pens so you can attach them and then we have a selection of some uh, I think this is a size it's not it's either size six or eight it's not an 11 seed bead. They'll fit on the bulb pins as well as some sequins and some different colors of rhinestones. So all of that, can you believe it, comes in the subscription box. You have lots of stuff. There's well over 150 pieces that come in the subscription box, plenty for you to make a journal. All right, so we're gonna clear this out of the way, and then I'm gonna show you some of the other kits that come as part of the Dancing Dragonfly collection. So an option that you can add to your subscription box is a planner kit. So here is the cover. You get one cover that's two-sided. You can also get the digital version of this. You get two fussy cut pages. One is journal cards. The other is little elements, some more of those file folders, some tags, even a library pocket, and some fussy cut elements. And then you get six, I think one, I always forget, one, two, three, four, five, yeah, six two-sided pages, or you get eight digital pages. So you'll get this page, and then you'll get this image that you can print on the back. You'll get this page and this image that you can print on the back. So it is a little bit different than that image. And then you get this page. I believe we set it up to where you had five weeks. One, two, three, four. There's another page. Five. And then this page. Mom, I pulled on it because I was impatient when I pulled it out of my printer. So it didn't get printed all the way to the edge. Yours would be fully printed. So that is the planner kit. And it's available as a physical kit 
or as a digital. So now here is what I call the large journal kit for dancing dragonflies. It comes with a label that you can cut apart if you so choose to use in your journals. It comes with two covers, two cardstock cover, again, 100 pound cardstock, or you get the digital version. So you'll get that cover, and then that's gonna be the inside. And then if you didn't recognize this from my Midori, Dragonfly Midori journal cover, this is kind of what I use for that fabric. I love this print and asked Norella to make one special. That's going to be the inside. This is my stencil design again. You get six fussy cut element pages. So here is one. And you get some more of those file folders and little... Um, ephemera pieces and journal cards more little ephemera pieces and journal cards and fussy cut elements you get a word search that you can use to entertain yourself you get a couple of pocket pieces in the large journal kit and then you get these beautiful larger journal cards in tags then there are eight two-sided journal pages. When I first started this, Norella wasn't making that many pages. She had an odd amount. And I said, well, if we're going to have two journal covers, I want an even amount of journal pages so you could split them between the two journal covers. So this is one of the pages. Again, that's my design that I hand drew. And then Norella uses her amazing magic on putting these together. My printer ran out of ink, so these may not be perfect, but I think they look pretty good to get all of the idea of the colors and the designs. It's so vibrant. I love this pattern as well. And you get some striped papers, especially if you do the digital side of it, because then you can print whatever you like, mix and match. This has got that pattern all over. And here's another, oh, it's upside down. This is Dancing Dragonfly over and over and over. And then here is another page here. So that's also available as a physical kit or as a digital download. The last kit that I will show you is the mini kit. Now the mini kit you can get as a physical kit or as a printed kit. I'm going to show you the printed version. When it prints, it prints two up. And for the printed version, you get one set of each of the covers. So you would get one of these covers. That would be two-sided. And if you didn't notice, it matches the large journal kit. So you get one of these covers that is two-sided. Or in the digital, they come two up. In the physical kit, you'll get two sets of the fussy cut elements. So you can use those between your journals. And I think this is upside down. Yes, it is. And then this is one of the journal pages. And here's the other side. She used that all over dragonfly pattern. And you'll get four two-sided pages that you can use between these two journals. I think I have an extra page here. Yes, I do, because that one was printed wrong. I always, I always forget how I'm supposed to feed it into my printer, and so I always have to test it. The last things that I want to show you is the Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist kit that you can get as an additional add-on. It is a kit of six different colors. I chose to put two different shades of blue. This one we call Blue Water. And this one we call Deep Blue. It's kind of a, a nice sapphire. This kind of reminds me of the ocean or water sea. And then we've got a beautiful green because that kind of remind me of the green plants you would see like lily pad. So I called that lily pad. And this is a beautiful pink. It's a deeper, uh, more of a dark, almost cranberry cherry pink so we called it deep pink and we have a pretty purple that's not quite lavender but i called it purple pop because i thought it just popped and then i decided to choose a iridescent or transparent gold so it is somewhat clear but when you spray it it'll put a beautiful clear uh, gold shimmer tongue tied over your project so that is an option that you can get and another option that isn't part of the subscription box, this will be a, a separate thing, is you can order fabric that is 10 inches tall by 15 inches wide for the printed portion. 
that you can use my tutorial, if you like, to make your own journal cover. In this case, I made a Midori-style journal cover. I put some cardstock in the middle, and then it's got the elastic bands that you can slip your journals in, and it matches the Dancing Dragonflies kit. All right, that was a lot that I showed. So I hope you enjoyed seeing all the options that I have available for the Dancing Dragonflies if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. You can ask here on YouTube, or you can use my website, lindaisrael.com, and go in and use the contact me form, and that way I have your email address so we can email back and forth. And let's see, again, this will ship out on May the 15th. You can start ordering on April the 26th. Some items may already be up there before the 26th. And I have a limited number of the printed portion of the kit. Digital, that can go. I have these covers. I'll be able to make the fabric pieces until uh, y'all are tired of buying them, I guess. I also plan to have a t-shirt design. It'll be close to this type of coloring and patterning, but we're trying to find the right kind of shirt because right now shirts are hard to come by because of COVID. So as soon as we have the shirt selected, that will also be available in my shop. Do you know that you go to my website, lindigital.com, I do have a selection that says Dragonfly products, as well as my new rubber stamp line. So I wanted to show you that I've made some new rubber stamps. For example, these little rubber stamps they kind of go with, let me get the page that had them on there. Norella's little pieces that she had here, they're almost the same size so that you could make your own little ephemera. I'm also offering little words that fit inside one of the frames. So we've got selection of a couple of sets. I've got some tiny library card as well as a standard size library card. We've got some borders and then lots of different phrases. I've added, I think, almost 60 new rubber stamps that I now manufacture. So we use our laser to laser cut these. They are on a gray art grade lub, uh, rubber and they have the cling on the back so they'll stick to your acrylic blocks so definitely look out for those as well all right i've been on here for way too long thank you so much everybody for watching again give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course if you have any questions do use that comment box down below look in the description box for links directly to each of the products or just go to lindaisrael.com and look for the dragonfly products thanks everybody for watching bye